how to fix URLs blocked by robots.txt errors. Hello and welcome back again. In this video session, we're going to explore how we can easily fix the error messages that we end up getting when we log in to Google Webmaster Tools. Now, we have a tester here. It's called robots.txt tester. This is a great tool whereby you can quickly see that if a particular URL is being blocked, you can actually test against different user agents. For general web search, it's Googlebot. Let's press test. Now, as you can see, this directive here is causing that block. As in, it's blocking Google to crawl that page that we're seeing in this example, right? Now, what can I do here? How can I fix this? Well, I can log into my web hosting manager, go to file manager, and locate robots.txt file. And in there, I can go edit and simply delete that file, as in delete that directive, this directive. So now, when I deleted that, if I save, Next time when Google comes and crawls my website, everything will be okay, as in this URL won't be blocked anymore. But what if, what if you don't want Google to access what's within that folder, but you want Google to access a particular page? If that's the case, you can use a layout directive and say, Okay, Google, you know what? I disallow you everything within this folder, but I allow you this URL. Now, if I test it, as you can see, that URL won't be blocked anymore either. So right now, you have two different options. You can either delete that directive altogether, or you can keep that directive and give the path by using the allow directive. So you simply choose either one and then update your file if you want to delete it all together delete it all together if you want to keep that but simply allow access to that url then you update your robots.txt file accordingly so both methods will fix that but what if when you log into your web hosting account and you end up not seeing that file. Well, if that's the case, then a plugin that you're using is creating that robots.txt file dynamically on the fly, so to speak. So then you can't really go in and modify things from your web hosting account. Then the next option that you have then your content management system is using a plugin. Then you either have to go into the settings and tweak the settings so that URL is not blocked or simply remove that plugin and create that file manually because it's just a text file. I thank you very much for learning with me. If you benefit from this video session, please share it, like it, Give me a comment so that other website owners can also benefit from it. I'll talk with you in the next video session.